Uh, we're lining up in a straight line downhill of the probe, putting the lead shoveler with their shoulder touching the probe, turn sideways to the slope, and then uh, the next person uh, down slope will be spaced out by an extended shovel handle. So you're moving snow from uh, your area of responsibility, uh, about a one meter cross section, you're trying to shovel down uh, as much as you can. Uh, initially you're shoveling down, everybody is in their area with moving the snow to the side. And once you get down about a shovel blade deep, then you're moving snow from your area of responsibility backwards uh, only as far as the next person and it becomes a uh, kind of a bucket brigade or a conveyor belt of snow. So we get a nice ramp effect that's coming down the probe. Uh, so the bulk of the shoveling down is happening near the front and as you get towards the back of your ramp, um, it tapers into a nice uh, low grade angle uh, for, uh, ex for um, extricating your subject uh, once you get to them. You are going to get tired quite quickly. The first scenario is that you have about the right number of shovelers or, uh, or possibly not quite, an, quite enough shovelers um, for the burial depth that you're dealing with and the slope that you're on. And so with, in that case, uh, you've lined up, you start shoveling, uh, the first person or the second person can call the rotation. When a rotation is called, uh, you, you call rotate or switch, and now the first person is going to move out to the back of the, of the shoveling line, and the second person in line is going to move into the first position uh, and keep digging down the probe. Uh, and so you'll carry on with those rotations until you get additional shoveling resources hopefully showing up. The second strike team rotation method uh, is if you have an additional shoveler, uh, they can actually get a rest and become the shovel master and they'll rest for a rotation cycle. So the shovel master will stand there with a the shovel in hand. After two to three minutes, uh, they, will call a, they will call a switch a rotation and they will uh, move to the front position and everybody will move backwards. So the lead shoveler now moves back to position two. The last shoveler uh, will come, to the, come up and become the shovel master. And the shovel master has inserted themselves at the front of the, the shoveling line. The third rotation in strike team shoveling is uh, to, if you have additional shovelers besides your shovelers in a line and in addition to the shovel master, consider having a static shovel master who will only be directing operations and now they will direct additional shovelers that are standing beside and resting. Uh, as soon as the, the lead shoveler starts slowing down, they will direct them into the front position. And again, just like rotation number two uh, style, um, you will move everyone backwards one position and, uh, and now the back person uh, will spit out of the line and come stand in, in the line of additional shovelers. So for calculating the number of shovelers that is optimal, the, the basic math is if you're on a slope that's steeper than about 25 degrees, uh, you're going, you're, uh, the length of your snow conveyor corridor should be about equal to the burial depth. So in an example there, we've got a two meter deep burial with a probe strike now, uh, so, and we're on a greater than 25 degree slope uh, where the debris is, we're going to uh, need um, at least a two meter long snow conveyor corridor and with each person covering about 80 centimeters to one meter of the, uh, of the snow conveyor corridor, if we divide that two meters by 80 centimeters, we come up with needing about two and a half shovelers to be optimal, or we would usually round up, so about three shovelers. Uh, the, other, um, the other scenario is you are on lower angle terrain, so less than 25 uh, degree debris, uh, and in that case, the ramp uh, angle, uh, in order for it not to be too steep when you dig down, it needs to be longer. The snow conveyor corridor needs to be longer. And so the length of that corridor uh, would be two times the burial depth. We've got a two meter deep burial, we have a probe strike. Uh, now we determine uh, being on lower angle debris, less than 25 degrees, we are going to need a four meter long uh, snow conveyor corridor and therefore dividing that by 80 centimeters, we end up with about five shovelers being optimal.